guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I wanted to talk about books that have an original story. So for me, I mean something that stands out, something that's a bit different than your kind of average and something that I think people who are kind of really looking for something different will really enjoy. So I wanted to talk about my favourite books that just really kind of went outside the box and um, really kind of brought something new to the table. So the first one I wanted to talk about, a series of unfortunate events seri um, series um, by Lemony Snicket and I really enjoy this series because I feel like a lot of it is really really unique. Um, there are quite a lot of stories in this and I do feel like they're probably quite samey throughout. Um, there are just horrendous things happening but basically it follows the Baudelaire orphans who are Sunny, Klaus and Violet and three of them um, are orphaned. Their uncle Count Olaf tries to muscle in and kind of get the, the orphan's uh, fortune and it's really really sad um, that that is obviously the case but basically the whole thing is kind of a bit tongue-in-cheek and from the very first page the way it's written is really different so it starts off saying um, if you're looking for a happy read don't read this book or I wouldn't read this if I were you kind of thing and I just really liked the way it was written it's a really dry sense of humour I think and I really enjoyed that and basically everything bad that can happen does happen in fact some of them are completely like ridiculous things that happen but yeah I really really enjoyed this um this series I haven't read um anywhere near all of them but I have read a few and I really enjoyed them and I also really like the um Netflix uh series adaptation that they did the movie was okay but it wasn't my favorite but yeah I really liked the um series that they did next up is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray which is the first book in the Gemma Doyle trilogy this follows a girl named Gemma Doyle who is sent to England to school. She originally lives in India and basically she see witnesses her mum die. Uh, but before her mum dies she has a vision that it's going to happen and then she finds out that her mum has died or uh, has been killed and she goes to boarding school and while she's there she learns a lot of things about the powers that she has and someone's following her and I really enjoyed this book I thought it was really different again like it is something that just really sort of stands out to me and um, I do really want to continue the series I definitely think that not enough people have read this book and I feel like everybody needs to but yeah I really really love this one Next up I want to talk about a series that I've only started. Um, I've read the um, prequel novellas and I am now part way through the first book in the series so I'm going to count it towards this because I have read at least one of the books. But it is the Throne of Glass series by um, Sarah J Maas. Uh, this one is the first one, The Throne of Glass, but I think there's like seven of them all together. Um, I obviously haven't read, I have only read a bit of this book, I'm in the process of reading it and I do hope to read it very very soon, but I really enjoyed the way that this was told. Um, I don't think it's potential, I don't think it's different in terms of now what's out there, but I think when this came out this was quite a new kind of um, idea and it follows basically an 18 year old girl named Selena Sardothian who is a trained assassin and she is try um, and basically the um, prince I think uh, is requesting that she represent him in a life to death life and death tournament and um, yeah it's that kind of thing and I'm really really enjoying it I really like the like female assassin trope in books and um, I feel like this one could be really good obviously I haven't read this one yet I have read the prequels and I really liked them I gave them a five star so hopefully I'll really enjoy this one as well but I really wanted to mention it even though I haven't read this particular book the next one that I read and absolutely loved and I feel like it definitely doesn't get talked about enough is The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stevarter. A lot of people really enjoy The Raven Cycle and I have to read that. I've read, got the first book but I haven't read it yet. But um, for me The Scorpio Races was really really interesting. It follows a girl who um, is in a really difficult situation and her and her younger brother and I believe her older brother are living together in a house and um, they're on this island where basically once a year there is a Scorpio race, which is basically where the um, seahorses, when I say seahorses, I mean actual horses, um, like come out of the sea and um, the people on the island essentially sort of ride them in a race. Um, and the girl in this decides that she's going to enter this race in order to try and save her family because her brother wants to leave. And it's really, really well done. I really enjoyed it. And the relationships in this is really interesting. I absolutely loved it. I really, really thought this was a really fantastic book. And I feel like more people need to read this because it's not the, you know, The Raven Cycle is not the only book that Maggie Steve Arter has read, has written. And I personally think that more people need to read The Scorpio Races. Number five and the final one in this um, video is Gone by Michael Grant. This is the 
first book in the Gone series. I think there's six books altogether. I think although this book is one that um, has a lot of kind of attention in it at times, I do think that, um, I think this book, although it's not one that is particularly unique in the market these days because I think a lot more um, dystopian type books have been written more recently um, or kind of in the last few years but I do think this was one of the originals that was just amazing. This follows basically a world where all of the people over 15 years old or over 16 um, suddenly disappear and they're not there anymore and it's about the rest of the people so everybody under 16 essentially um, having to just figure out what to do and it does turn into a bit of a political drama bit where um you know some of the the children kind of start to bully the others and it's really interesting and i do think it's interesting to see like what people would do if that happened and i think it's definitely quite scary to think about as well but yeah i really really enjoyed this one and i do think that more people should read it i need to read the next one in the series I'm, i've only read the first so i do own the second one though i think it's called hunger so i needed to get on that soon <laughs> there you have it guys that is my um top five most original books that i've read and i really loved and i want you to read them too let me know if you have read them and what you thought of them and if you haven't please read them and let me know if you're glad that I got you to read it and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next one bye guys